Hey, 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 it's me, Daniel Hadaway, once again, and you are joining me here for Drummer Daily, the podcast that's for you if you're a drummer, and even sometimes if you're just a musician who doesn't play drums but just wants to pursue their craft or maybe get inside the head of a drummer and think, man, what is my drummer thinking? Uh, maybe some of these episodes will help you out with that. But I'm, I'm so glad that you've joined me today, no matter what your background is. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode, we are going through a couple of books uh, that I recommend uh, to you if you are a drummer, whether you want to get better at your craft as a drummer or uh, you want to become a professional drummer and work on your career. Um, I have a few books that I go back to again and again. I recommend all the time to people uh, based on whatever their needs are. And, and all these books, like I've mentioned before, uh, will apply to you whether or not you want to become a professional, even if you just want to become a better drummer, be more creative, anything like that. Um, these books will all work and be great for you. All right, so yesterday, or not yesterday, but the last episode I posted, uh, I shared with you the book Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. And um, one of the, he, uh, the subtitle of that book was 10 Things... Let me pull the book again here so I can tell you accurately. 10 Things Nobody Told You About Being Creative. Um, well, one of those things uh, that, that he listed in his book is, it says, Be Boring, It's the Only Way to Get Work Done. And today's book that I'm going to recommend to you is one that I've recommended before. But a good portion of this book that I'm going to recommend talks about that point that I just mentioned. The idea of being boring, it's the only way that uh, the creative work gets done. Um, and this book is called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. So not The Art of War. Don't get confused. Uh, please don't go read that book thinking, I don't know if you'll get anything about drumming out of that. Uh, but The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And this book uh, is, is another just fantastic book. If you are creative in any way or, or desire to be more creative or you feel like, man, I uh, I know there's some incredible songs, there's some incredible you know, inspired drumming, not just excellent technical drumming, but inspired drumming uh, out there inside of me. Um, if you've ever felt like that, but like, I just don't know how to get it out. Um, this book, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, uh, will help you out immensely. Uh, but one of my big takeaways from this book, and by the way, I know that I've actually talked about this book, I think, uh, at least once before on the podcast here. Um, so excuse me if you've heard it already. But my, my big takeaway from this book is the idea that an artist is, by definition, someone who creates art. Um, and you don't have to, uh, you can be an artist, and even if your art isn't very good, if you are creating art, you are an artist. Um, and and, the, and so for you to be a, an artistic drummer or a creative drummer or an artist on the drums, uh, the only requirement is that you are actively creating art on the drums. That's all you have to do. You don't have to achieve a certain level of quality that you were satisfied with before you were able to call yourself an artist. Um, and so that's kind of the first thing is, if, is, is, is remember that your responsibility as an artist is to create art. It's, it's not, uh, there's no, uh, being an artist does not mean you are successful, that you make a lot of money doing it or uh, that, that critics rave about it or so-and-so thinks you're awesome or whatever that is, um, that does not mean that you're an artist. Uh, that just some, that's something all entirely different. Uh, but all you have to do to be an artist is create art. But that does mean that you have to create art. Um, and it doesn't always have to be good. And that's the other secret that I, that I, I didn't discover this in, the, in this book, but it definitely reinforced it for me. But um, the other point that the book makes that I really like is uh, that that great artists, truly great artists, um, I'm thinking of like songwriters and drummers and uh, you know painters and all kinds of, any kind of artists you can think of, they show up day after day and put in the work of creating, whether it ends up being excellent or not. And the secret is a lot of times the, uh, the what you create on any given day isn't really that great. Um, you know, I'd say even for me, you know, I create the tracks that I uh, post, the backing tracks. I create the backing tracks for the drum videos that I post uh, on, on Instagram. 
And, you know, all the ones, you know, I, ha I, I, I like to put out at least one a week. I don't always get a chance to do it that frequently, but that means I got to write, you know, something that I'm happy with putting out at least once a week. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, I'm not always, you know, I always don't think that what I'm putting out is the greatest thing, but sometimes the, the music I'm putting out is just a vehicle uh, to, to show the groove that I'm playing or something else. Um, I never want it to be just that. I always want it to be more than that, but it just doesn't always turn out that way. But I will tell you that um, writing or being creative on the drums or creating music or whatever it is, is a discipline, which means you just gotta show up every day and try to create and be okay if some days what you create isn't that great and just move on for it and come back the next day, turn a new page over, start blank and, and start writing again and keep putting in the work and you gotta trust, and it's tough, but you gotta trust that if you keep doing that, that every once in a while there will be something that is especially inspired. I have to say that there are probably four or five tracks um, maybe more than that, uh, over the past couple of years of me doing these backing tracks for my drum videos, where I've created something that I really am proud of. I really do feel like it's something that I really enjoy and like, and, and I think it's cool, or you know what I mean? Like, I, it's just something I'm like, man, I can't believe I created that. But I do know that that would have never happened if I hadn't been putting in the work and writing all the bad stuff, too. Um, I'll never forget, I, I, think, I think it was when I was touring with the band, you know, All Sons and Daughters, um, which I was with them for about seven years. Uh, I just remember uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the guys in the band, uh, David or Leslie, they said something. I remember they both kind of used it as their mantra, but you know, they, I, I would know sometimes they were going to have this writing session. They'd be writing with a co-writer or, or them, just them. And you know, they'd be the first to admit, hey, you know what? That song we wrote today didn't, wasn't so great. Um, and they'd say, you know, uh, the, the, and this is not just them, this is, I think, the kind of the, the songwriting community's go-to uh, mantra is, uh, you gotta write the bad songs to get to the good songs. Um, you know, everybody's got a whole bunch of bad songs in them and everybody's got a whole bunch of good songs in them. And a lot of times the bad songs are kind of clogging up the pipe and you gotta get those out so that you can get to the good one that's kind of waiting in the wings. Uh, for its turn to shine. And so the same thing is true about drumming. Uh, you've got to, you got to sometimes play the bad parts or get the bad takes out or uh, play all your bad ideas or write your bad grooves uh, in order to get out the good ones. Uh, but trust me that you're, that the more you do it, uh, the more you'll find enjoyment in the discipline of writing the bad stuff because you know the good stuff is going to come out as well. So again, this book is called The War of Art. It's by Stephen Pressfield. I'll put a link in the show notes for this one as well. And you can check that out. And uh, I don't make any money off that link. That's just uh, for your reference. It's an Amazon link. Uh, get the audio book if you're not a reader, uh, but I highly encourage you to read this book. It's a great addition to your library. Um, and even if you're not going to read it, just remember showing up in doing the work makes you an artist. It makes you a drummer, it makes you a craftsman or a craftswoman, if that's a word, on the drums. Uh, so do that and you will unlock more creativity. You will unlock your inner genius if you can just show up and do the work. Well, hey, thanks for joining me today and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. We've got a couple more books that I'm gonna share with you over the next few episodes uh, of Drummer Daily. And so I hope you can join me for those when they come out. But thanks for joining me today. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.